welcome back. Today, I'm going to take a detour from my same old complaining about my future husband and my promise. And instead, I'm going to tell you how I spent my quarantine 2020. Today is May the 5th, uh, 2020, so uh, stay 105, I don't know, I lost count. The first dramatic change in my life is how I'm not able to go to the library. What? I actually went to the library the day it clo first closed on March 16th, 2020. And boy was I disappointed. I had already had a rather rough day and now this. I especially wanted to get to the library to get on Facebook so I could post pictures from my friend's wedding that happened that weekend. Oh well, so much for that. The other big dramatic change is I can't go to church. And if you know me at all, you know I don't miss church. I go to church so much, I go to two churches. So, and, then, and neither one of them are meeting, so that's different. Now, because I can't go to the library and I don't have internet at my house or on my phones, I am completely cut off from everything except I do have TV and phone. So that's how I've stayed up with everything relatively. But I can't watch church online like everyone else. My best friend and I stopped prayer partnering for most of the quarantine. The last time we prayed was March the 21st. We were gonna do a spring break photo shoot, and then I was gonna get my hair cut, but then the quarantine happened, and then it rained all spring break, so we never took pictures, and my hair has grown so long, I think I'm turning into Rapunzel. I could let down my hair, and my future husband could give it a swing. Little lady, lady, tally ho! <laughs> If you watched my video titled My Daily Routine, then you already know what I do normally. I have a long, quiet time with God in the morning. I exercise, shower, get dressed, eat lunch, go to the library in the afternoon, and then come home at night and work on my projects. Well, that's basically what I do now, only I can't go to the library, so instead, I have restarted learning piano. I decided I'm gonna learn the whole hymnal. I made five playlists, one to play each day of the week, Monday through Friday. Works great. I figure I should have the whole hymnal learned by the end of the quarantine. <laughs> Since I can't go to church, or get on the internet, or even visit my friends' houses who have internet, I've had to get really creative with my Bible studying. I already watched Joyce Meyer and Joel Osteen during the week, but I also started watching Dr. David Jeremiah, and he was doing a study on Daniel. And that reminded me of a study I did on Daniel. So, I pulled out my old study of Daniel by Beth Moore um, that I did in 2012 to study it again. I just remember how Daniel was about the end of the world, and since everybody is comparing this to the end of the world, I couldn't think of a better time to study it. Can you? It's 11 weeks, and I'm on week 7. Uh, it has video sessions, outlines, and then daily devotionals. I read it every day. I tried to find the DVDs that go with it, but that was a complete bust. Oh well. Another big change for me is that I am now in charge of the grocery shopping. Usually, both me and my mom go to the grocery store together, but since she is in the demographic of those who are most vulnerable to the coronavirus, I now go by myself, which is fine. We actually had 
some very unusual miracles during my shopping adventures. Number one, the toilet paper miracle. I was out to get batteries for a thermometer and I looked for toilet paper while I was out and I asked one of the cashiers and she asked the boss man and he said they didn't have any and while I was out snapping pictures on my phone of the sign for senior shopping hours the boss man came out and he found me and he said are you the one looking for toilet paper and I said why yes I am and he tells me they just got a shipment in and I was the first one to get one off the cart and it was a 30 pack I felt like I was walking around with a prize Christmas turkey the one twice as big as me <laughs> number two was my brother Andy's birthday cake miracle we're all very particular about what kind of cake we like and what kind of icing so Andy wanted a small marble cake with whipped icing chocolate if they didn't have marble great so I found a small chocolate cake with whipped icing but it was girly pink I put it in the buggy anyway but then I thought I'll try one more time and sure enough I found a small marble cake with whipped icing but it wasn't girly pink <laughs> It actually had blue and yellow icing, and all of our mouths turned blue. <laughs> the third miracle was I was able to give the boss man a thank you gift blanket that my mom made, and we had been keeping in our car for the past month. Plus, I got paper towels. So, that was a good haul that week. <laughs> anyway, because of the quarantine, I have stopped working on my publishing goals and my job search. However, if you saw my video where I explain how God doesn't want me to have a paying job, you probably think, like my best friend, yeah, that's a good idea. She was like, well, you didn't stop applying to jobs when the building caught on fire. Maybe you'll stop when the whole planet shuts down. And she was right. Hmm. I have been diligent to make new videos to be posted when I'm able to be at a computer again. It takes about a, it takes me about a week or two to make a video. I've made three so far. This is my fourth. But it's weird not to be able to post them in real time. <sighs> the last thing I want to share is the books that I'm reading during the quarantine. They are So Many Books, So Little Time by Sarah Nelson, Divergent by Veronica Roth, and How to Be Idle by Tom Hodgkinson. I'll explain why I chose them and my reactions to them. I chose So Many Books because it's about reading and I, thinking that it would be fun. The chapters are rather short, so I read it, or I read it as part of my quiet time. It's about the author and how she chose to read one book a week for the entire year of 2002. Great premise. But this lady hates every book that she reads. It's like she loves reading, but hates books. It's very weird. I told my best friend, I'm 27 chapters in, and she's only liked five books. This is ridiculous. And by the way, I just finished it, and it didn't get any better. I chose Divergent because I recently bought it for a dollar. And I love the movie. I even have the movie. And since everything feels very post-apocalyptic right now, what better time to read it? <laughs> I would have read The Hunger Games. I have book one and book three, but I don't have or have access to book two, so I'm going to wait until after the library clo oh, reopens to read those. The book is different from the movie, but not a lot. I don't know. I'm about halfway through. The big difference is we can hear Triss's inner thoughts in the book and not the movie. Her thoughts are weird. I do not think like her. Oh no, 
I got the plague. Just kidding. I chose How to Be Idle because it's the perfect book to read during a quarantine when all of us are idle. It's really good. It covers topics like staying at home when you're sick and napping. It gives lots of historical quotes by famous people, both for and against the idle lifestyle. I'm in favor of it. I hope some of the idle ways stick after we go back to normal, like taking long walks and eating lunch with friends. I totally recommend this book. These books are long, so they should last me till the end of the quarantine, maybe. So that's what I've been doing. Not much different, but I definitely feel the isolation. I also haven't been able to go to my writer circles, and that sucks because I miss them. But maybe by June, they'll be back meeting? I don't know. Mostly, I miss the normal stuff. Like seeing all my friends at church and being able to go out to eat or even be in the same car as my best friend. Ah, uh, the before times. So, come back next time because I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about. Bye!